Now, author and historian Gerald Horn joins us for more now live. Uh, Mr. Horn, can you tell us, please, uh, you know, Washington is denying any prior knowledge of, uh, of this, of this that, saying that uh, President Obama didn't know about this wiretapping. Who is telling the truth here, do you think? I'm afraid that Mr. Obama is in the position where he has to deny what is painfully obvious. We should recognize that one of the many reasons why the United States spies upon Chancellor Merkel is economic espionage. That is to say that U.S. corporations like Ford are in competition with Volkswagen, Oracle, the software manufacturer, is in competition with SAP, for example, and Siemens of Germany is in competition with GE. By bugging telephones at a high level in Berlin, the United States can get information that can be very helpful to the competitors of these German corporations. Well, exactly. I mean, ties between the EU and the U.S. are vital. How much damage can surveillance of this type actually cause? It can cause enormous damage. I do believe that Chancellor Merkel was probably somewhat aware of the spying and surveillance of her cell phone. But the problem is the German populace was unaware, and there is a tidal wave of revulsion at this intervention in Germany's affairs. And therefore, Chancellor Merkel has to respond, and that complicates Berlin-Washington relations. Okay, let's look at the bigger picture here. Obviously, European countries are doing a fair share of spying and surveillance as well. Why is the U.S. getting all the flack, do you think? Because the United States is the heavyweight champion of surveillance. The United States not only engages in surveillance against alleged foes, like al-Qaeda, for example, like the Cubans, like the North Koreans, like the Iranians, but also allies, such as the French, the Germans, etc. And because of this proclivity in Washington, it's understandable why the United States gets the attention when it comes to surveillance. Well, apart from the angry words and the marches uh, and all the hubbub surrounding what has transpired in the last couple of months uh, in this arena, has the Edward Snowden, uh, have the Edward Snowden leaks actually, you know, made a positive difference? What, what is going to come out of this, do you think? Well, my understanding is that Washington is engaged in an agonizing reappraisal of its surveillance methods against friendly nations such as Germany and France. It would not surprise me at all if Washington moved towards a relationship with Germany and France that it now has with Britain, for example, or Australia or New Zealand or Canada, where there are much closer relations, and at least on the official level, there's not surveillance of cell phones of the leaders of those latter nations. So the NSA members say that the eavesdropping, eavesdropping on the leaders produced little valuable uh, intelligence that, that, was, that was usable. What's the point of, of risking a diplomatic fallout for something like this if it's actually going to produce nothing? Well, I would take what the NSA says with a grain of salt, in fact, with a shaker of salt. You have to realize also that one of the many reasons why Washington spies on Berlin is because of hysteria about the role of the Green Party in Germany, about the role of the Left Party in Germany. And there's also concern about the European Central Bank and its ever closer relations with the Chinese Central Bank and how that may lead to sidelining of the Federal Reserve Bank in Washington. All of these reasons shed light upon this massive surveillance program against supposedly friendly nations. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much, sir. Gerald Horn, geopolitical historian.